Hundreds of Chula Vista trees were knocked down this weekend. One did far more damage than any others out there. That is a big mess. Our tennis reporter Joe Little reveals how a hundred foot eucalyptus tree knocked one local club right off the rails. These tracks belong to the Chula Vista Live Steamers. They've been here for 45 years, and during that entire time, they never sustained as much damage as they did last Friday. The evidence is everywhere. I mean, it, it's crazy. Trees this big don't just fall on their own. It's crazy the amount of power that this thing had when it was coming down. Alec Harley has never seen anything like it. It's hard to tell even right now if there's any damage or what kind of damage. Damage to a unique club nestled in Chula Vista's Roar Park. We're the Chula Vista Life Seamers. Harley is the club's president. We've been here since 1974. A miniature train club with two miles of track. They've given free rides to three generations of visitors. Those rides are now on hold after this tree fell on the heart of their operation. It fell in the, the worst possible spot. The root ball lifted tracks off the ground. Both of our main tracks coming out of there have been ripped out. Branches smashed other tracks. It could cost the live steamers thousands. It's going to take a while for us to even get in there and figure out what's wrong. It actually sheared straight through and the screws are still left where it was in the ground here. And this used to go around the outside of the tree. I'd say at least for the next month, we're not going to be able to run trains at all. But Harley, whose dad was around when the club started, says the trains will run again. We'll survive. You know, we've been through a lot as a club. On the tracks in Chula Vista. It's not the end of the world for us. Joe Little, 10 News.